Hello and welcome to Chase Office Field here in Langley, British Columbia. We are moments away from kickoff here as we are back on the campus of Trinity Western University with the Whitecaps Rex program taking on the Spartans once again in a rematch of last Wednesday's contest. And we're underway here between the Spartans and the Whitecaps. The last time these two teams played again was just last week, exactly a week ago on the Wednesday, and it was the Spartans earning a 2-0 victory. Goals coming from Sierra Halderson and McKenna Dietrich in that game. As we get going here, there's Chris and Sakaki on the ball for the Spartans. Spartans in blue going from left to right, of course, and the Whitecaps in white with their red numbers and the blue hoop around the jersey. Whitecaps holding possession early. Here's Mussolini getting a quick touch here on the near side. The ball comes into the middle of the park. And it's Whitecaps coming up with it on the far side. And they'll go back to goaltender Bella Lister. who will play the first half today for the Whitecaps. Lister in yellow. Here's Mussolini. Whitecaps holding some possession. Ball going back to the defensive line for the Whitecaps, and they're moving through the middle or trying to work through the middle against the Spartans, providing pressure right there. That's uh, Aliyah Coy getting her first touch on the far side. That's Elizabeth Hicks, veteran defense or defender for the Spartans, one of the captains for Trinity Western. Here making moves on the near side. Mangat comes to the foot of Ava Ward. Here's Ward with the ball, and she's moving towards her own goal to reset. That's the Whitecaps moving forward. Going back is Logan Clare, a new name to the pitch for today compared to last week for the Whitecaps. Added to the roster, number 33 for the Rex program. Throw in on the far side, or it is a throw in in typical years. In our year, of course, it's just a kick in, so you can see that as Aliyah Koi will play that on and reset from the back end. That's Hicks. Mila. Van Der Veen giving it to Kristen Sakaki. Sakaki quickly does well to move it up. And here's Anna Dunn moving it with some space in the middle. We're in number 16. That one threw just ahead of Charity Field. And Lister will pick the ball up for the Whitecaps. Coach Graham Roxford plenty pleased with Anna Dunn's work as she had some space in the middle and she used it well. Looked for field and just missed, but you know that that's going to be something the Spartans will look to. Here's Sakaki intercepting a Mussolini offering. Mangat puts it right into the middle. Olivia Ahern. And the Whitecaps will hold a little possession on the far side now. Thank you very much for joining us here on YouTube where you can find all your Spartans action throughout this 2020-21 campaign. Certainly a strange one, but the Spartans are doing their best to compile an exhibition schedule. And so far, this is their fourth game of the season. Is coming out hard there for the Spartans is Trinity Western netminder Hannah Miller. Spartans holding a 2-1 record so far in their exhibition campaign. Falling to UBC 1-0 before wins over Fraser Valley by 3-0 count and a win over this Whitecaps FC team 2-0 right here last week at Chase Office Field as we mentioned. Ball coming to the middle, Anna Dunn doing well to track back. Van Brink on the ball, first time we've mentioned her. Yeah. 
Here's Hicks. Sakaki wheeling down their near side. It goes just out, and it's going to go in favor of the Whitecaps. Like I said, all your Spartans action right here on YouTube. And all these games will be on demand. So if you want to re-watch them or if you want to come back and watch a little bit later, you're more than welcome to do that. And that'll stay right here on our YouTube channel, as did last week's game, if you want to re-watch that contest as well. And we'll have all sorts of other Spartans action. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. Sign up for alerts so you get alerts as to when we go live. And we'll have as much Spartans action coming to you right here on TW's YouTube channel. Now the Whitecaps moving forward into the box. Hannah Miller there grabs that. No rebound. Slick and holds on to it. And now she'll slow things down and roll the ball up to Hicks. Gabby Short on the ball. And Sakaki. Ball comes off the foot of Dunn. It's coming to the near side. Here's Hicks on the ball. Tilly James, first year for the Spartans. Certainly an effective first year and a fantastic start to her Trinity Western career on the back end. Filling in for a big number 11. Previously held, of course, by Brooklyn Titter. Here's Vandenberg trying to find Sakaki, and she does so. Sakaki had to slow down just a little bit, and the Whitecaps catch up. That's Sakaki still working hard, trying to see if she can pick up a corner. It was now Vandenbrink, and the ball is kicked out by Mussolini. It'll be a kick in, throw in for Sakaki. Certainly it was the Spartans who had much of the possession during the last contest last Wednesday. A lot of corners. We didn't keep quite keep track. And we didn't have stats, but it was a lot of corners. And the Spartans did well to keep generating them. However, credit to the Whitecaps for continuing to hold off the Spartans. And it was only the two goals that was the difference in last week's contest. Now a free kick for the Spartans. Pretty dangerous position here. It's going to be Kristen Sakaki taking the ball from a decent position. Sakaki sends a low drive in and it's just blocked. That's Ava Ward. Ward moving it up now the far side. Trying to take advantage of a little bit of space. Spartans quickly tracking back, but Ward is on the ball once again. Ward still with it, slowing down, looking for teammates. She finds, eventually she finds Ahern, but it's intercepted. And now McKenna Dietrich, one of the goal scorers from last week, moving the ball outside, doesn't find a teammate. There's Coy, doing things herself, spinning and turning and finding some space where there seemed to be none. Here's Short. Short moving in into the box. She puts it right into the middle. There's bodies there. And it was just cleared by the Whitecaps. Right there was Dunn nearby. Mangat now moving the ball into the middle. Sakaki's there. And a Dunn on the ball. Puts it into Dietrich. Dietrich. Is moving forward, McKenna Dietrich, and that one's deflected and earns a corner for Trinity Western. As mentioned, Dietrich scored for the Spartans against the Whitecaps. Last week, Sarah Halderson had a goal off a PK in the first half, and then it was Dietrich getting the insurance goal going up 2 nothing, and now Gabby Short will take the corner here for the Spartans as Trinity Western looks to open the scoring here just a few minutes into this contest as we kicked off just after 8 so about 10 minutes into the first half here between the Whitecaps Rex program and the Spartans here's Gabby Short sends a low drive in goes off a Whitecaps body 
And comes back to Sakaki. Still a good spot. Sakaki, and that one is blocked again. Ball comes down. Charity Field is here. Coy. Hicks. And Fields right nearby. Field puts it into the middle to Dietrich and just goes off the chest of Dietrich and she can't, can't quite handle it. And Lister will settle it down for the Whitecaps. Ahern on the far side. Now the Whitecaps looking to make their way into the middle of the park. It's intercepted by Dunn. Dunn flicks off to field and now Dunn runs on. She's got three. They're all at a bit of a standstill. Now she finds a bit of a running Dietrich. Dietrich with another shot. And Dietrich fires it into the back of the net. McKenna Dietrich finishing a nifty play by the Spartans. And Trinity Western opens the scoring here in the 10th minute as Dietrich gives Trinity Western the lead on her second goal in as many games. Nothing for the Spartans. McKenna Dietrich scoring for Trinity Western here at Chase Office Field against Whitecaps Rex program. Here's Manget and Whitecaps moving forward, trying to equalize quickly. Tripped up there at top of the box. That was Mussolini going down. And so this Whitecaps will be a very good spot to see if they can equalize and get back on even terms. Spartans putting up a wall as it's just outside the box, about maybe about, I don't know, four or five yards outside the box. L looking to set up a five person wall. They need a fifth to the Spartans. Mangat standing over the ball. Mangat chips it over and well over the net, and Hannah Miller. Just sees the ball sail over. As we're in the 13th minute here of this exhibition contest between a couple of local sides that are becoming a bit of rivals in this particular season with a unique setup, that's for sure. Here's Mangad getting again to it. She's been lively tonight and just chipped that free kick over the net a few seconds ago. Here's Gabby Short. Now trying to get past Mangat. Stepping in was Ava Ward, and Spartans are in the throw-in. That'd be Sakaki. Gabby Short gives off to her, so Sakaki will take it in here on the near side. Grace Vanden Brink had a bit of a run there. Instead, go inside. There's Dunn. Here's Mila Vanderveen. Vanderveen goes to the outside. That's Coy. Coy puts it into the box and it just sails wide. Good offering there from Aaliyah Coy off the left side. Be a goal kick for Bella Lister. Here at Trinity Western, back to back weeks. The gorgeous evening coming to you from the University in Langley here. Beautiful night, a beautiful park. And uh, we've got a fantastic game in front of us here. Mussolini's making a run. She's got a little bit of a step on Hicks. Mussolini puts it in, and that one's going to go wide, but Miller scoops it up. Whitecaps showing a little bit more pressure and have had already a couple more opportunities than they had early on in last week's game. There's some pressure, and, and that results in a turnover. Here's Ward with a throw in. Right near us here on the broadcast side of this pitch. Here's Ward 
sneaking a ball into the middle, just going off the foot of Hannah Duguid. That ball sails off the foot of Dietrich. Here's Ward. She chips it in and, and Hicks sails it long. Ward again to throw it in or kick it in. That's do good. Dunn is on her. Stepping up is Sakaki and Manget goes to the deck. So these Spart or Whitecaps with the free kick here again on the near side. A lot of play right nearby here. Ward. Chips it over into the middle. We're going to reset here. So we've got a free kick here. A bit of misunderstanding there from the referee. That one goes out. Bit of a miscue here just between Ava Ward and Mangat. And it'll be a kick in here for Kristen Sakaki. She goes quick on that one. Goes back to Sakaki, chips it over the top. Logan Clare is there. And that one goes off the foot of Clare and out. Sakaki again now. And another kick in from the near side. one nothing the score, of course, here about just under 20 minutes into this contest as it's McKenna Dietrich from the Spartans the lone goal scorer here is Trinity Western got the early lead a nice strike there by Dietrich ball comes into the box and Lister scoops it up done nearby Lister had to be sharp Spartans pressing right up there, and here's a Whitecaps sending it just almost out. This very wide field. Lots of room on the far side. Kick in for the Spartans on the far side now is settling things down. Grace Vandenbrink goes to the floor and that's a whistle against the Whitecaps. So Trinity Western will have a good opportunity here as Elizabeth Hicks moves up the pitch. See if the Spartans can create. Tilly James joins her while Sakaki drops back in defensive role and it'll be Coy over the ball as she is want to do from that far side. Coy sends it into the box. No one there in blue, and it's just cleared by the Whitecaps, and Sakaki will scramble back herself. Here's Koi. Vanderveen providing all the defensive pressure without getting a whistle called against her. Here's Mangat. Sakaki dropping back. Mangat, though, by herself. She's got a little bit of help now moving forward. Here's an offering that goes just wide from the Whitecaps. Goal kick for the Spartans. Trinity Western having... Allowed just one goal so far in their first three games and now a little bit of change. One goal coming on a PK against UBC. So, so far and no goals in the run of play given up by the Spartans. And off to a solid start again tonight against the Whitecaps. Ball comes to do good.
Caps working on the far side. Dietrich was there in defensive shape, and it's going to be a throw in for a White Caps. Another throw in now for the Spartans going the other way here for Trinity Western. And 21st men here at Chase Office Field. Exhibition action here between the Spartans and the Whitecaps. Obviously a prestigious Whitecap side with a group of U18 players that are doing very well to keep pace with a strong Spartan side. One of the top programs annually in Canada, in terms of Canada West University, that one just went off the foot of Ward. It was caught well by the referee on the near side. We were right in front of it. Sakaki gives it in to Dunn, looking to get that moving quickly. Dunn decided to retreat a little bit. Here's Anna Dunn on the ball. Do good all over her. Sakaki just with a quick one touch to Hicks. It goes over top and off the head of Ward. Spartans moving the ball around. Sakaki on the ball for the kick in here. She looks for someone. Spartans making run. There's Field giving it back to Sakaki, who gives it into Gabby Short. It's intercepted there quickly by Ahern, and now the Whitecaps are on the move. Moving forward on the far side there was Maya Rogers. Quickly tracking back is Dietrich doing well to make sure that that attack is thwarted. It'll be a throw in, though, for the Whitecaps. Once again, another throw in for the Whitecaps as the ball went off the foot of Dietrich. And now it's Trinity Western earning the free kick, or the throw in on the far side, I should say. Coming right into the Spartans' bench. The redone bench is quite nice. You can't really see them on the broadcast, unfortunately. You're going to have to make your way to Chase Office Field at one point when spectators are permitted. Unfortunate that that is the case right now as Hannah Miller scoops it up. Some refurbishments to the Spartans' field here. That one goes back to Hannah Miller. And the Whitecaps now moving forward again. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe. Make sure to like the page or like the, the video and make sure to sign up for alerts so you get every alert whenever the Spartans are playing a home game. We will do our best to broadcast as many Spartan games across all of our sports throughout this season, giving all of our Spartan fans and opponent fans alike, thank you for tuning in if you're rooting for the Whitecaps here tonight as well. Logan Clare goes back to Lister, and Lister will just give it off to her defender on the near side here. That's Ward now moving it into Clare, back to Ward. It's Sakaki stepping in, giving it to Field. Field gives it off to Dunn. Dunn tries to move it into the middle and snuffed out there. But here's Short intercepting. Short puts it into the middle. Whitecaps scrambling a little bit here as Trinity Western applying the pressure.
to the James, going to the far side where Aaliyah Coy is there. Coy spinning and stepping back. Puts it into the box and sent clear just for a moment. Grace Vandenbrink was on the ball. Here's Vanderveen. to Liz Hicks, into the middle is Gabby Short. And it done coming up with it there. Here's Sakaki. And Hicks sending a long ball in, goes off the head of the Whitecaps defender. Here's Mila Vandenbrink, Mia Vandenbrink. Is Coy sending it into the middle. Lister gets to it just in front as the Spartans had the pressure. Mangat there. Do good in the middle. Back to Mangat. Sakaki. That one deflects all the way back to Miller. I think I might have said Mia Vandenbrink, Grace Vandenbrink. Let's check that. There she is, Grace Vandenberg, number 12 for the Spartans. Going back to Miller. Vanderveen. Here's Hicks sending it up and over. comes to Logan Clare and here's Ward. That one just mo misses. Sakaki and Hicks just decides to turn on it. Smart play there by Hicks. Ball in Whitecaps possession here as there hasn't really been a great opportunity here for a while. Sakaki steps in quickly, gives it to Field, goes off the foot of Field though. Mangat making a neat little move around Vanderveen there and still has the ball in the middle. Mangat doing her work now. Tilly James stepping up to provide a little bit of defense there. Ava Jackson, or check that, comes into the middle. Jennifer Hashimoto, number six, four, the Whitecaps sending the ball in. Battle there against. Whitecaps and Spartans going at it in there in the middle there, and it's the whistle goes in favor of Trinity Western. one nothing here on a goal by McKenna Dietrich. Thanks again for tuning here in half an hour into this contest as we are just about at 8.30, an 8 p.m. kickoff here from Chase Office Field. Perfect night. As we're almost in November and we're still playing... Perfect night to soccer. Here's some pressure. And Hannah Miller's got to step up quickly. And there's a trip. And that was lucky for the Spartans. Hannah Miller's going to get a red card. He goes, the referee in the middle goes straight to a red card as he's suggesting, of course, that she stuck out her leg to trip what would have been a sure goal at an empty net. Controversial. For sure, I'm sure the Spartans are not going to be pleased with this, but Hannah Miller sent off with a very rare red. And Trinity Western is going to have to make some adjustments here as Spartans are pleading their case a little bit on the pitch as Trinity Western just went down a player here as Hannah Miller did well. She came flying out for a second. She was there for a moment, but then the Whitecaps player was tripped and that was deemed to be a red card from the man in the middle here. Trinity Western with a one nothing lead, but suddenly the Whitecaps will have a little bit of an advantage here with Miller sent off. Spartans making their substitutions here. They're gonna have to sort out a plan here as one of the Spartans there 
Mila Vanderveen's going to come off as Olivia Nickel will be the substitution as she comes on basically cold. And she'll face a penalty kick right here, right away from Olivia Ahern, or at least that's who's standing over the ball at the moment. So Nickel will be tested right off the hop. And she will be expected to play the next hour of this contest as Hannah Miller has been issued a red card. Ball comes in right over, grazing the top of the bar. Didn't quite end up testing Nickel, but it certainly was a great opportunity for the Whitecaps, and it just goes high. So Spartans will play the next 60 minutes down the player, down to 10. Vandenbrink on the far side is Coy Trinity Western trying to just quickly turn things around and carry on where they left off which for the most part in the first half hour has been the Spartans in possession and definitely a couple chances and maybe that last one the best uh, that went just over the bar however it came from a red card against goaltender Hannah Miller as she knocked over a Whitecaps player who, if had stayed on their feet, indeed, probably would have been a sure goal. And that's why the referee deemed it a red card. Here's Field. Give it in to Dunn. Dunn tries to slip it through. It's Dietrich again, the goal scorer. And that one goes off the foot of Hashimoto. And the Spartans are looking to make a substitution here. As Gabby Short will make her way off. Sarah Bazil going on, number 27 for the Spartans. Sarah Bazil, she came on as substitution against the Whitecaps last week, however, tonight considering a new a bit of a con new configuration for the Spartans after what just transpired. Comes on a little bit earlier, that's for sure, as Bazil came on in the second half. Now she's on with 60 minutes to play, or just under. She's here in a right back role as Sakaki has moved up. And should provide some interesting play for the next hour as Whitecaps have an extra player on the pitch. Here's Hicks. Should be a good test for Trinity Western. Here's Bazil. Bazil with a good first touch, trying to get down the park. Mangat's all over her, and Mangat, who has been dangerous, she gets the ball quickly and moves it up. Tilly James battling there against Isabella Mussolini. James there, and Mussolini still providing the pressure. And get on the ball now. And just clearing it there. Nice job by Anna Dunn tracking back and making sure that the offensive 4A from the Whitecaps is thwarted. Kick in coming for the Whitecaps now. Charity Field was on the ball there for a moment. Ahern tracks back, giving it back to Hashimoto. There's Ahern, she puts it into the middle and no one there in a white shirt. There's Dunn. Logan Clare stepped up quickly and gives it to Ahern who passed it off to do good. Our Whitecaps holding a little possession on the far side. Stepping around, Coy trying to put it into the box quickly here. Dietrich was back there, and Dietrich does well, and they earn the goal kick, dude, the Spartans. Nice job by Trinity Western, especially Dietrich there at the end to make sure that it was a Spartans ball at the end of all of that. Charity Field will come off the pitch. Teresa Hicks will 
that plays field. And Olivia Nickel came on and replaced Miller. Stands over the ball, gives it to Hicks. There's Bazil. Here's Hicks knocking it down well. Van Gat tracks back. Hicks tries to give it off to Sakaki, just a little hot there. Sakaki couldn't quite handle it. Thirty seventh minute here in this first half. Spartans up one nothing. However, they're down a player. It's a red card to Hannah Miller. Goaltender, Hannah Miller. Here's a energetic Hicks trying to cause some problems. Bazil here. Hicks goes over to Tilly James. Broadcasting this contest from field level here at Chase Office Field. Different angle, you get a few more voices that you get to hear from this vantage point. Don't quite, quite get to see the shape quite as well. More of a coach's perspective, that's for sure. Feeling like we're right in the mix. Here as we're broadcasting from Chase Office Field. Spartans and the Whitecaps. Make sure you are subscribing, clicking the alert to make sure you will get alerts when we go live and we'll be going live once again on Saturday as Trinity Western will be back in action once again. They take on Fraser Valley at 12.45 p.m. Saturday right here at Chase Office Field and you can watch that game on YouTube. Ball coming in and Lister with a diving stop there as it was really dangerous from this Position. I'm not sure if it would have gone in. Perhaps it would have gone wide, but perhaps it would have. Lister had to be cautious, that's for sure, and she dove out and made the stop. Do good on the ball. Ball coming to Logan Clare. Mussolini calling for Clare to hit Ward on the near side and said they go to Mussolini. It gives it off to Ward just for a moment. Mussolini can't quite keep it in. Dietrich steps off the pitch and coming on for the Spartans. Jessica Vance wearing number 19. She comes into the middle alongside Hicks as a center defender, center back. Hicks, physical there and just a little too physical for the referee's liking. Same referee we saw last week. Hashimoto. Here's Duguid. Dunn stepping in. Hicks is there. Sakaki is playing much further up the pitch than she normally would, considering, and that one goes all over top of the net. Lister with the goal kick. We'll hope to have a replay of that goal if you want to go back and see how this game has become one nothing. We have a camera set up behind the net that we'll check into and hopefully be able to post a different angle of McKenna Dietrich's goal. And of course, as I said, this whole game is on our YouTube page right here for replay and it'll sit there so you can continue to watch the Spartans. Sarah Bazil here. Right near 
our broadcast booth. Stepping up quickly is Vance on Mussolini. Mussolini gives off to Mangat. Mangat just gets it through Grace Vandenbrink. Looked like Vandenbrink was going to knock that down, but just slipped through. Whitecaps throw in on the far side as we're nearing halftime here. one nothing the score. We are in the 42nd minute here at Chase Office Field. Kristen Sakaki, she's got speed. She's trying to use it. Teresa Hicks slows things down. Sarah Bazil. Bazil here. She's got players in the box. Bazil just puts it right in on goal, and Lister is there to scoop it up. Spartans looking energetic there. If you do want to ask any questions, feel free to put it in the chat there on your YouTube page. And we'll try to get to as many questions as we can. Here's Hicks nearly intercepting. The Whitecaps have to be sharp not to allow Hicks to take over there. Logan Clare with the ball. Coming to the near side. That's uh, Ava Ward trying to get it around Jessica Vance. Vance quickly scrambling back. Ahern tries to put it into the middle. She does exactly that and just offside are the Whitecaps. Ava Jackson in just an offside position. The Whitecaps have definitely looked more dangerous than they did last week in the first half. Opportunities, close calls. One skimming just over the post off a free kick. That one coming just beyond the 30th minute mark. Now we're almost at halftime. Ball sent into the middle. Logan Clare, she's been there. We've said her name a few times. She's been in the mix. Ball comes to the near side, Sarah Bazil. First year for the Spartans, giving to a fellow first year, Jessica Vance. Grace Vandenbrink. It's a fifth year, Liz Hicks. And another first year, Tilly James. Several first years now on the pitch. Kristen Sakaki playing more of a forward role with a new shape considering they're down to 10. That ball trickled to Ava Ward. Sakaki scrambled back. It was Sakaki went down. No call on anything. That's okay. They move forward. Here's Hicks trying to cause a bit of trouble there against the Whitecaps back line. Ball comes to Mangat. And Sakaki tries to turn. She just chips it into the middle. No one's there except a white shirt. Ball comes to the near side. Mussolini's here. Bazil providing pressure, pressure pr forcing Mussolini to make a play. Logan Clare goes all the way back to Lister. Ball comes into the middle. There's Grace Vandenbrink. Vandenbrink stepping around Ahern and couldn't go any further, however. There's Duguid on the far side. Sends it over, and Olivia Nickel will slow it down and give it off to Vance. Brazil. Mussolini and Vance kind of clash together there and it's the Whitecaps moving forward trying to slide it through there. Here's Mussolini stepping around Hicks. Now Mussolini's in the box. Mussolini puts a shot on and it's blocked well there by Tilly James. And it's going to be thrown here or corner rather for the Whitecaps. Haven't seen many of those in this last two games against these two sides, or featuring these two sides, but the Whitecaps now setting up here a corner just before halftime. See if they can equalize here. Would be something special for the Whitecaps to do that, but they instead go with the short corner and give it to 
Muzzolini puts it into the box and it's just cleared by Vance. Nothing coming of that corner in the end. Ball comes into the middle. Stepping up is Bazil and then clearing it is Liggs Hicks. Ending any pressure there that the Whitecaps had started to generate. Logan Clare. Ward. Mangat. Vance going to the deck to make a play there. And again, but this time it's the Whitecaps coming up with it. Isabella Mussolini puts it into the middle and Nickel will scoop that up as she had someone on the far side and there is the halftime whistle here at Chase Office Field. 45 minutes are in the books and the Spartans have a one nothing lead. A goal by McKenna Dietrich here at Trinity Western University. We'll be back with second half action between the Whitecaps and the Spartans.
Hello and welcome back to Chase Office Field for second half action between the Spartans and Whitecaps FC Rex program. Trinity Western in blue and they're going from right to left here in the second half while it'll be the Whitecaps in white. Goal tender change expected here. Leah Parsons in goal for the Whitecaps now. She's wearing all yellow. Olivia Nickel wearing all red for the Spartans as she came in midway through the first half after a very rare red card to Hannah Miller after she stopped an opportunity by tripping one of the Whitecaps players. Uh, a bit controversial perhaps if how it all transpired, but nonetheless, the Whitecaps player likely would have scored on a wide, wide open net and she was tripped over and that was what the man in the middle decided was red card worthy. So here we stand at Chase Office Field again. Beautiful night here. No, no rain. Just a perfect evening here. Kickoff at 8 p.m. Coming to you from Trinity Western University, one of the top teams here in Canada West in U Sports, taking on one of the best U18 programs in the country. Holly Ward. 28 for the Whitecaps, gives it off to Pasco. Emma Pasco wearing number 24. Megan Turry on the far side, 22 for the Whitecaps. So they've made some changes here in the second half. There's Sarah Bazil giving the pressure on the far side. Thank you very much for returning to watch the second half action here on our YouTube channel. Really appreciate it. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you're clicking on the alert bell at the top of the page to make sure you know when we are going live. And again, as I mentioned before, we will be live on Saturday at 12.45 right here from Chase Office Field as the Spartans take on the Fraser Valley Cascades. And every home game moving forward we are going to do our best to make sure we bring it to you live here on the Spartans YouTube channel. There's Ward having it just for a minute. Coy falls. And moving forward is Ward giving off to Stechik. And here's Ward trying to put it into the middle. There's Mussolini on the ball. Mussolini with a shot. And Nickel is there to stop that one. Tilly James on the ball now. That's Liz Hicks. James gives it off to Coy here. Gives it right into the middle to Field. Field gets one touch on it, gives it over to Dietrich, or nearly does. Hashimoto with a nice little spin there to get herself free, but Sakaki intercepts. Field into Dunn. Dunn just retreats back to James. James to Coy. Coy moving it up. Coy putting it into the middle there. No one for the Spartans home. Ball goes all the way back to Parsons. Parsons goes to the far side. Sakaki intercepts. Trying to win the ball on the far side. She still has it just for a moment, however. And it's sent clear. And it's going to be Jessica Vance standing over top of it, waiting for a kick in. And it's Vance winning it. And the Spartans will have to throw in on the far side. Four minutes into the second half. Spartans up 1 nothing on a first half goal by McKenna Dietrich. Scoring her second goal in as many games as the Spartans and the Whitecaps. Playing again here for the second time in a week. That ball just behind Ward and James is going to try and take advantage. James has some options. Decides to go into the middle where Dietrich is there. Dietrich steps back, gives it back to Dunn. There's Coy. And it goes off the foot of Coy and it's going to be a throw in kick in 
for the Whitecaps. Into the middle. Whitecaps in a little bit of danger there just for a moment. They clear it quickly as Emma Pasco was the one to make the play to make sure the Spartans didn't get a good opportunity there. Still, Whitecaps working it in their own end. And here's Dunn, that offering that goes up and over and Dunn with a brilliant goal from well out. Anna Dunn, the first year tallies for the Spartans. Chipping it over the top of Parsons. And the Spartans have a two nothing lead here at Chase Office Field. Well struck there by Anna Dunn. She does very well. Sees the goalie slightly off her line and buries it to the top right corner. Great celebrations for Anna Dunn. As she does that number 16, very proud. As 16, of course, was worn by Janae Robertson over the last several years, but specifically last year as she was the U Sports Player of the Year, scoring 14 goals in Canada West League play. And really being a star for the Spartans within the Canada West and U Sports League. Here's James. Liz Hicks. Clauzel touched it just for a moment and it went back to Hashimoto. Here's Coy into field. Dietrich, Dietrich, quick step behind her. Dietrich still on the ball, showing well. Here's Coy. Coy puts it into the middle of the box. It's blocked there, and it's going to be a corner for the Spartans. Certainly haven't earned as many as last time they played, but now's an opportunity after they just made it 2 0 here for Trinity Western. Now they're on in the corner looking for a third. Spartans fill the box. Looks to me like it's Charity Field over the ball in the corner. Sends the ball in, good opportunity. It's headed clear by the Whitecaps, however. Another opportunity for Field. She puts it in, blistering it well over top of the net. She had ideas for something special. Didn't come about, but nonetheless. Good attempt. Ball falls to Hicks. And there's Dunn, one of the goal scorers. And the Whitecaps settle things down. Tilly James. with a good defensive play here on the near side. Amanda Clozell sent it in right to Mussolini. That's gonna be a throw in in favor of the Spartans. Aaliyah Coy will be the one to kick it in. Now it's not a throw in. I think I may have mentioned that. It's gonna be 
free kick here from just on in front of the Spartans benches. Here's Coy. Coy boots it across the field. Hicks is gonna scramble over to get there. She gets there first. Now Hicks sends it into the middle. Dietrich is nearly on the end of that one as it just went over the top of her head. In a good position, nice ball there by Hicks. Ball eventually does come out and it's gonna be a throw in for the Whitecaps. Goes back to Parsons. 2-0, Trinity Western, goals by McKenna Dietrich in the first half and Anna Dunn in the second half here for Trinity Western. Throw in for the, far, for the Spartans on the far side. comes to field. Leah Coy will take the ball here. Coy standing over the ball. Trinity Western looking to see if they can make it 3-0 here. They beat the Fraser Valley Cascades by a 3-0 score. It was 2-0 the last time two, these two teams played. Lots of time still to go here in this second half. Ball comes into the box, or near, I guess, the box, and it's Hicks getting onto it. Hicks battling. And a free kick goes the way of the Spartans. Another great opportunity for Trinity Western here as they're now applying the pressure. Again, they are one player down as Hannah Miller was shown red in the first half. Goaltender Hannah Miller. And she knocked down a Whitecaps player who was basically on the verge of sending the ball into the back of the net, an empty net as it were. So Field will stand over the ball and send the send it in. It's got a heavy foot for sure. So you never know what Field could produce here from this position. Puts it in, chips it in, and it's headed clear. And then kicked even further down the pitch. Sarah Bazil on it quickly. Some pressure. Spartans continue to move forward. Vance. And it's going to be a corner for Trinity Western. Now the corners are coming for the Spartans. Can they produce something off these corners? Maybe. Maybe. Especially Trinity Western moving themselves up. Once again, it'll be Field taking the corner on that far side. sent into the box. Not a great corner, however, and Sarah Bazil is going to scramble back and Field will have an, another opportunity. She spins, tries to get away from some defenders. Looks like they went off the hand. Uh, the referee eventually calls that. I think every Spartan on the field decided that that was a handball. Indeed it was. And the referee just took a little bit longer to call it. But he had intentions, it seems. He eventually got there. The Spartans will have another chance just outside the Whitecaps box. See if they can produce off the set piece. Ball about to be sent in. Here it comes. And it doesn't really go anywhere as it never really made its way into the box. Howard Dunn, one of the goal scorers, gets onto it, and she's doing well, fending off Whitecaps defenders, and 
See what she can do if she can muster up a corner here. At least looks like she got a throw in. However, it's for the Whitecaps. Done not particularly impressed. This time it goes the way of the Spartans. Two goals for the home side, and we are 15 minutes into this second half, so that leaves us 30 minutes to go in this contest here between the Spartans and the Whitecaps FC Girls Elite Rex Program. Ball drops down nearly to Hannah Dunn, Anna Dunn rather. Here on the moves, Ward. Ward and Tilly James. James comes back and does really well to come up with that. Ward went down for a moment. She seems to be slowly getting up as the play moves forward. But James came back and did defended that really well. Now Hashimoto on the ball. Whitecaps now trying to move forward. Haven't had much action in this half of the pitch so far in this second half. That one's intercepted there by Dunn and Bazil knocked down hard. Referee's already reaching for his pocket and looks like he's going straight to the yellow there. Just trying to figure out who that was on the pitch who is receiving the yellow. Looks like it's Aislinn Stechik. If I'm reading the number right from this vantage point. And now we'll carry on. This Bazil's back up in action. Stechik getting the yellow. Whitecaps have to be smart here. That was really dangerous there as Trinity Western continues to press. Goes back to Parsons. Parsons looks for Ward. And it comes to James for the Whitecaps instead. Here's Sakaki just chipping it into Dunn. Dunn now moving it to Coy. Coy eventually corrals it. Goes outside, cuts back inside. Koi puts it into the box. There's a volley from Sakaki, and that one is blocked. And Sakaki tries again, and it goes high and wide. Sakaki had dreams of a magical goal there off the volley, and didn't transpire. Still, enjoy the effort, that's for sure. Ball comes to Ward here on the near side. Still moving forward as Coy's trying to track back. James is there as well, and Coy gets there. Stechik, though, being a bit of a nuisance. Here's Ward taken down by Dunn, and the whistle goes against Dunn. Ward gets up. The second time she's had a bit of a Clamoring tackle, or been part of one. And now the Whitecaps will be in a good spot. See if they can generate some offense here. Trailing 2 0 here at Chase Office Field. Isabella Mussolini standing over it. Mussolini on the ball, chips it into the box, and Nickel. Doesn't get a hold of it, and the Whitecaps bury as Nickel can't quite corral it. And trying to figure out exactly who that was on the end of that one. 
And the Whitecaps have made it 2-1 here at Chase Office Field. The ball came in off the foot of Mussolini. And Olivia Nickel wasn't quite able to handle that. And finding the back of the net was the Whitecaps as Charity Field comes off and Gabby Short goes on. Indeed it was, Emma Pasco scoring for the Whitecaps as she got a hold of that rebound right in front and put it to the back of the net. So Pasco with the goal for the Whitecaps. Dunn and Dietrich for the Spartans. We still have lots of time here and you have to remember the Whitecaps do have that extra player on the pitch as Ward tries to move it forward. Ward and Sakaki battling there. Sakaki goes down in a bit of a heap. Looks like she'll be all right. And the Spartans will get the free kick. Emma Pasco with the goal for the Whitecaps. As now we have, that's the first goal the Spartans have given up in the run of play. I mentioned it earlier that they hadn't given up one all season, or at least in their first three games. So in their fourth game, they give up one. Still not a bad run there. Four games so far and just the one goal against in the run of play. Two goals total so far against the Spartans. And they still hold a 2-1 lead here against the Whitecaps Rex program. Ball on the far side, looks like it's going to be a throw in for the Whitecaps, or a kick in, I guess, as it is. Got ourselves a little bit of a game now. It's just a one goal separating the two teams. All the Spartans are moving forward, and Parsons had to be really sharp there as Gabby Short was very nearby. Balls scooped up there by Parsons. Koi nearly intercepted. She's causing some problems there as Short is all over it. Here's Sakaki. Sakaki just puts one on, and that one goes for a goal kick. Brand Wefflin making her way onto the pitch here as she takes off Sarah Bazil. And the Spartans making that substitution as Fran Wefflin comes on. working. I think that was Ava Ward on the far side. Saw a lot of her in the first half, that's for sure, as we have throughout the two games here at Chase Office Field between these two teams. Now the Whitecaps holding some defensive possession here. I think that's probably Ward on the far side. Hard to see a little bit from here, but ball intercepted there by Coy. Coy has an opportunity. She tries to crawl it. She now gets back to it. And it's going to be a whistle against the Spartans. Uh, Whitecaps will have the free kick here. Look how quick we play it. Nearly 70 minutes into this one. Just over 20 to go here. Spartans are up 2-1 here. Trinity Western University, there's Parsons in goal now as she came in for the second half for the Whitecaps. Yeah. 
Ball comes into the middle. Here's Ward. Ward moving into the middle herself on Tilly James and gets to it. Here's Short. She's intercepted there quickly by the Whitecaps, now turning it back. Can they have something going on here for a moment? And Vance goes to the deck here as the ball goes back and forth. Here's the Whitecaps moving forward. Tilly James goes to the deck. Here's an opportunity for the Whitecaps that just goes high as the Whitecaps are showing, starting to show some life here. Ball goes long, here's Gabby Short. Short moving into the far side. Parsons on the ball. Here's Ward. She's going to try and turn quickly. Dunn's there, however. Here's James. James, it's Mussolini all over James. She spins and she gets it moving forward. Here's Ward. Mussolini slowly gets up. Here's Ward still with it, trying to get around Anna Dunn. Anna Dunn goes down, making that tackle. And they're just gonna carry on. Everything seemed to pause there for a second, wondering what was next. A clattering tackle there, and quality tackle from Spartans. Ball and then eventually body. Whitecaps now on the far side. It's coming into the middle. Wefflin does well for just a moment. The Whitecaps keep with the ball, trying to cut in. It's Vance on it for the Spartans. And it's going to be a corner for the Whitecaps. Opportunity now. It's the Whitecaps with one goal, the Spartans with two. Opportunity to see if they can tie this one up for the Whitecaps. Corner going to come in now off the far side, comes in, goes off a of Spartan, only just was carried on. Here's another opportunity, comes in, it's blocked by Dietrich. Ball goes all the way back to the Whitecaps goaltender. Parsons is on the ball now. Hashimoto. Fazel to Hashimoto. Now into the middle. Trying to spring Ward just for a second, but Liz Hicks got a foot on the ball, slowed it down, and Nickel is here. Here's James. James with some speed on the near side, moving it up the pitch, trying to get Coy. She finds Coy. Aliyah Coy sending it left foot into the box. No one there. The Whitecaps clear. There's Ward on the ball. Into the middle. So you've got Strachek. Strachek puts it into the middle. Nickel is there. She waits for it, and then she scoops it up. Olivia Nickel here just to settle things down a little bit for the Spartans. Comes to Coy. Coy chips it into Dietrich. Dietrich has a little bit of speed. And it's the Whitecaps tracking back well. There's Hashimoto getting to it as well. And it goes off the Spartans. And the kick in. It's a couple of substitutions waiting here for the Whitecaps. And now the referee calls them in as Olivia Ahern comes in of my Rogers. Sarah Bazil coming on for the Spartans. Mussolini comes off for the Whitecaps and also exiting the game for the Whitecaps, Saya Mangat.
Cubs now with some possession. 75 minutes into this one, 15 to go. 2-1 the score here at Chase Office Field. Gabby Short on the ball. Moves it to the outside, Sarah Bazil. Bazil trying to make her way around. She makes her way into the box, chips it, and it looks like it went off. Nobody as it turns out. And it's a goal kick for the Whitecaps. Caps playing catch in their own end. And it's turned over here in a dangerous spot. Here comes Sakaki. Sakaki chips it in and just can't quite find a teammate. As the as the train rolls through here. I'm not sure if you could hear that or not, but nonetheless, at least once a game, we get the train rolling through right behind us. Whitecaps on the ball. All the way back to Leah Parsons in goal, and here's Hashimoto. Hashimoto on the ball. And the kick in goes the way of the Whitecaps. Substitution here, Teresa Hicks comes on, McKenna Dietrich steps off, and substitution for the Whitecaps as Ava Ward comes on, play, placing Megan Turry. Ball sent in for the Whitecaps, now they're gonna move to the far side, trying to see if they can generate something here. Ball sent up, intercepted there by Hicks. Here's Wefflin. Only had it for a moment. Spartans reset with Vance. Whitecaps moving forward. Putting it right into the middle. It's Hicks getting ahead to it. Ahern's nearby, it's four against four there, Hicks and Ahern. Whitecaps still maintaining possession, pushing for that equalizer. Got the extra player out there, but the Spartans now moving forward. Dunn trying to get it up to Gabby Short. Short puts it into Hicks. Teresa Hicks stepping around her defender, tries to put it into the middle and it goes off the Whitecaps. It's going to be a corner for the Spartans. Thanks again for tuning in here on our YouTube channel, our TW Spartans YouTube channel. Really appreciate that you've joined us today. It's the Whitecaps and the Spartans. Trinity Western holding that 2-1 lead. Just a little bit over 10 minutes to play here at Chase Office Field. Make sure you subscribe, hit that button. Make sure you're getting alerts to when all of our games go live. And again, if you're a Whitecaps or if you're a Spartan supporter, Trinity West will be playing at 1245 on Saturday afternoon right here at Chase Office Field and right here on YouTube against the Fraser Valley Cascades, local Canada West rivals for sure. Ball coming into the box from the far corner. And it's headed clear by the Whitecaps. Still in dangerous territory, though, for Trinity Western. And Sakaki trying to get to it. So Whitecaps clearing. Here's Dunn getting on to it. Dunn. She's got one goal already tonight. A nice one at that. Ball comes into the box. James got a foot to it. And another corner for Trinity Western. The Spartans continuing to apply the pressure. Another corner for Trinity Western. Ball 
comes in. And it's cleared by the Whitecaps. Nifty little move there just for a moment for the Whitecaps. And now they're moving forward a little bit. Trying to catch the Spartans back line scrambling. That's Vance pushing it forward. Ward on the ball. Calling forward is Clozell. Hashimoto. Hashimoto decides to go back to the far side. Pasco. Pasco, the goal scorer, goes back to a teammate. Here's Ahern. Ahern on it. Sarah Bazil was nearby. And finally, Clozell gets to it. Clozell has it. Gives it to Ahern. Ahern puts it into the middle. The Whitecaps are dangerous. Here's an opportunity, and it's cleared there by Hicks. Clozell gets it back to Hashimoto. Ahern's got a little bit of space on the near side, and it's offside. Good offensive foray from the Whitecaps. Close calls. In the end. It's an offside call against the Whitecaps. It's Nickel there. Here's Bazil trying to nifty move there and it didn't quite work out. Clazell. It's on the near side. It's off the head of James. Here's Hicks giving it off to Bazil. Bazil's here. Tilly James is going to scramble back. She got herself in a bit of an awkward position, and Bazil just decides to hold on to it for a few more moments and give it off to goaltender Nickel. And the ball comes to Nickel. Liz Hicks. Ball goes straight up. It's off the head of Ava Ward, looks like, on the far side. Certainly the dark spot of this field on the far side. You lose the view a little bit, especially from field level. Throw in for the Spartans, kick in for the Spartans, I should say. And they'll quickly send it in to Teresa Hicks. Ball comes to Hashimoto. Hashimoto, but it's Sakaki doing well, tracking right back, and she's whistled down, however. It's the Spartans who will get on the ball here in a good position right in the middle of the park. 15 yards outside the box. And it's Elizabeth Hicks standing over it as the Whitecaps make a wall right in front of their goal. Parsons directing traffic from net from the goal. See what Hicks can produce. Hicks drives it low. Hicks is going to get another chance. Hicks again. She puts a shot on net and buries it. Liz Hicks makes good on her second opportunity as she finds the back of the net. A great goal there by Liz Hicks. The first offering went right into the wall. The second one went into the back of the net. And the Spartans now are up 3-1 here at Chase Office Field. Hicks the goal scorer as she joins Anna Dunham. Kenna Dietrich as
as Trinity Western's goal scorers tonight. And now we'll reset as the referee is getting himself sorted. Eventually, he gets it sorted. Intercepted there by Bazil. Parsons back on the ball. And Hicks is going to intercept Hicks with a great opportunity to box. Hicks puts it in. Oh, and a nice save off the foot of Parsons. Nifty save by the Whitecaps goalkeeper there as the sister act almost came through with Hicks nearly replicating her sister just a few minutes later with a goal as it was Liz with the first one, Teresa with a golden opportunity on that one. Great stop by Parsons though, kicking her right foot out, making the save. Anna Dunn comes off, great shift from Anna Dunn, that's for sure, scoring the brilliant goal as Grace Vandenbrink returns to the pitch for the Spartans. Ball comes into the box out of the corner and it's handled well by Parsons. A couple of good plays in a row by the Whitecaps goalkeeper. As we're inside five minutes to go here at Chase Office Field, Spartans three, the Whitecaps one. Sakaki being the, the nuisance now as she's causing Yash Hashimoto some issues, but Whitecaps recover. Two goals, the difference once again. Bazile scrambling back. Will she get there? She does get there first and does well to give it off to Wefflin. Bran Weffling. Wefflin. It's turned over, and the Whitecaps are now on the move coming forward. Sending it into the box. Goes off the head of the Spartans. That was Liz Hicks, but it comes to the feet of the Whitecaps. Here's Clozell. Clozell still with the ball. Get him out. Get him out. Comes to Hashimoto. And ball goes deep. Here's the Whitecaps on the move, looking to see if they can get one. Call comes into the box and cleared well. Here's Sakaki. Sakaki gives it to Short. Short on the ball. Short driving wide around Clazelle here. Short still with it. Short on the left side. Puts it into the middle. Hicks was there. Couldn't quite make that connection. That one goes just out and Vance decides to ensure that it was out. kick in here for the Whitecaps and we're in the final few minutes here of this contest at Chase Office Field. Spartans looking for their third straight win. Looking for their second straight against the Whitecaps. They also have the one against Fraser Valley. Ball comes over the head. They're just over the head of Short. Clozell is there. Bazil was trying to take it, but Clozell now moving forward. The Whitecaps, Ward calling for it, and Bazil comes all the way back to take the ball. Sakaki gives it to Short. Short just puts it right past Ahern. Stepping up, however, it's the Whitecaps. Flying through the middle. It's Vance stepping into it and stopping that attack. Pasco. Sends it to the far side, and there's Ava Ward. Ball comes to Clazelle here. Clazelle puts it into the box, into the box, into the middle, perhaps. Let's try that one. Here's Teresa Hicks. Hashimoto.
Here's Pasco in the middle. Covered closely by Sakaki. Straight checks. Gives it into the middle. There's an opportunity for the Whitecaps. Tracking back quickly is Liz Hicks. She manages to stop that offering. Here's a long shot. And that one goes wide left as Nickel watched it go. And she'll casually get it for the goal kick now here for Trinity Western. In the final two minutes, I'd say, of this contest. Maybe less. Referee probably looking at his watch closely. There we are. We get the two minutes of stoppage time here. Comes to Tilly James. That one goes off the foot of Ward. into the middle, there's Teresa Hicks. Kreitzer sends it out to the far side. There's Ward, Ava Ward. Ball likely coming all the way across is Kozell making a bit of a run, but Hashimoto decides to go back into the middle. Ahern's there chipping it forward. Straight check puts a ball that goes just wide. It's going to be a goal kick for the Spartans. Olivia Nickel will take the goal kick as we've got to be closing in on the final few seconds here at Chase Office Field. Olivia Nickel with the ball. Now she sends it on and Liz Hicks for the Spartans. Remember, Trinity Western will be hosting Fraser Valley Saturday, 1245. Chase Office Field. Watch that action right here on our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you have your alerts set on, and I'll send you an alert when the Spartans are playing. And that's not just soccer. If you're a Trinity Western supporter, that's all the sports right here, including volleyball and basketball and then perhaps some rugby and hockey and all the rest of it for Trinity Western. And that's the final whistle right here at Chase Office Field as the Spartans earn a 3-1 victory over the Whitecaps FC Rex program. Goals by McKenna Dietrich. Anna Dunn and Liz Hicks for the Spartans. Emma Pasco scored in the second half for the Whitecaps, but that turned out to be their only goal as they made it 2-1 at that point. Liz Hicks provided the insurance and the Spartans win their third straight game, second in a row against the Whitecaps right here at Chase Office Field. That'll do it for us here on Spartans TV. Thank you for joining us. Really appreciate it. Make sure you tune in. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you make make time on Saturday at 1245 to watch the Spartans take on the Fraser Valley Cascades. Final score from Chase Office Field, the Spartans 3, Whitecaps 1. You've been watching right here on Spartans TV.